I saw the shots again, man. Which man I get? But because I want to do this alone, you don't know what it has. Can you chill? Can you, can you chill? To can be you, here okay, to okay. this moment. So this is how Messi has been scamming the whole of Africa for the last ten weeks, fam. I feel scammed. To be to be honest, I feel scammed. If she has actually been running this this whole week, I swear. I won't forgive myself. <laughs> I won't forget oh, myself. This is so sad. I won't forget myself. I swear. Pair, on the other hand, the boy be like, who don't traumatize? Is it a soap? Is it a play? <laughs> okay, I'll really, I'll, I'll give her to Ali. <laughs> because, ah, I she sold it well. Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can do it now. Thank you so much. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love you so much. It's all of my heart. You know, you know, right? You know, right? Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Energy was great. You know, when you start going to be happy, when did they have people? Should you also talk about Sissy and just her not wanting to let go of Alex? Should you talk about that? Okay, okay, okay. Right now, I don't care if my man leaves me, but I don't want to come out and look stupid. First of all, yeah, the reason why I'm calling Mercy is calm and why I feel like she has been scamming the whole of Africa is because of how even fraud was in on this scheme. Because why the hell was fraud telling us in the diary room about how, oh, Mercy's boyfriend had asked him to look after her. Mercy's boyfriend had told him that, oh, that Mercy should not go and misbehave in the house. Mercy's boyfriend this. And of course, Mercy herself telling us that, oh, her boyfriend even told her that she shouldn't go for this year's big brother that is going to give her 120 M. And there she is saying that she does not have a man. Ha! No, no, no. I feel, I feel scammed. It's paining with somewhere in my chest. How is it that Mercy AK does not have a boyfriend and she has been able to stay through to it till the end of the season? Because this girl legit revealed it to us today, early hours of the morning. Till week 10. Yo! And as my people, they know I shouldn't come here I and have sure a form of you relationship. Don't look stupid. My last season, I did everything in a ship. This season, I said to myself, no ship, no I nothing. didn't even watch no last quarry. season. So I was even, I was unaware Period. of everything okay. that happened. I said, no ship, because they say, if you no know be ship, if you no know be quarry. You see, those two things were so similar to I said, I will not have them. I'm coming here, bam. And I, I quite understand her, I'm not going to lie, because her reasons are valid. She came on the show the first time and she was in a ship that lasted from beginning to the end of the season. And also she was in many fights, many fights, especially the one with Tatcha, which became the talk of the season. So according to her, she has come back this season and she had told herself that she's not going to be in any fight, neither is she going to be in any ship. So she wants to be herself and just win the show. So all the while where she's just avoiding shifts, avoiding people, flirting here and there, is simply because she doesn't want to find herself in a ship. Does this mean that she kissing Kid Wire, kissing White Money, and you know, we thought that it was just going to be the same with Perry, but it turns out that there is more. Guys, do you think there is more? But if you're trying to like explain yourself, explain what happens in the house, no even though you guys could not hear yourselves, do you think from Messi's end she actually has started falling for Perry because mm, with white money and kid wire it was just mm, still kiss here mm, go mm, mm, go but for Perry these people are legit exchanging saliva giving french kisses talking and just being around each other a lot the last two weeks so do you think that feelings have been caught somewhere and let's talk about Perry too yeah strip myself off yeah i am everything i saw you were vulnerable the wall wall you brought it down yeah cautious 
prepare now. He's saying that, ah, he has brought down all the walls. So the walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The children of God, hey, I said, I don't forget this song. You know, Per said he had brought down all his walls, his safeguard and everything. He don't throw away. I'm on top messing matter. Hey, wahala, waha, what, wahala. He has, he has opened himself up to mercy and he just wants to be sure that mercy is not playing games with him because if mercy is playing games with him, he's not going to forgive himself. Ha! Baba, you go really forgive yourself. You are going to do what? You're going to forgive yourself. You say you don't want to marry. Mercy says she won't marry, born as children. So when they do forgive yourself, what do you want to use the love do? What do you want? Okay, if I took on this ship, where are they go? On that they go the same direction. So you're gonna have to move on. You're gonna have to take your L and move. You know, Cross was just laughing. He was just talking about how men is going to be crazy if truly Messi was just using him to catch crews. And I'm so surprised that Perry is, you know, catching feelings because, like, general, you, you have seen Haki's kid. You heard it when Ibuka said it. You also have seen Haki's white money in your presence and everything. Why did you let yourself to go and be falling in love just like that? I tell you, I'm sorry for breaking the wall in the it was, it was, it was. Of that shit, it put me in a very tight position. You know, so the thing that had caused this whole fight, quarrel, and all the side talks here and there is how when the ex-housemates had come back into the house for the party, we saw where Per was kneeling and apologizing to Kim Opera for whatever reason. According to him, he was apologizing to Kim Opera because he had punched the wall and that was the week that she left. He didn't really get the chance to apologize to her. That was why he was leaning, kneeling and apologizing. But Messi was not having it. Messi is like, why are you apologizing to her because of the fact that you kissed me? Because Messi and Perry had kissed in presence of everyone, including your ex housemates, at the arena during the party. So she felt like Perry was actually apologizing because Kimopra saw them kiss. And you know, she's just like, she doesn't get it. Why is he embarrassing her? He shouldn't make her look stupid. If he wants to be with Kimopra, he should be with her. He wasn't like, no, that Kimopra is just his friend, that nothing is going on. She's like, leave this friendship, leave Kimopra and Cross to be. Both of them, they are just obviously in love or they like each other. Why are you putting yourself in the mix? But guys, me, I feel like Perry is lying. You know? Baba, you are not apologizing because of any blue in the wall. It's a lie. Lori Ro! Lori Ro! Lori Ro! You they apologize because the girl don't see you, they kiss. She got a vest for you somewhere, somehow. And he just feels like there's hope somewhere with Kim Opera. I don't even know what's going on with that boy, to be honest. I don't know. Do you want Messi? Do you want Kim Opera? Why are you kneeling down to beg? Don't don't give me that bullshit. It's not that oh she punched you. You go say apologize that one later. What are you need? Oh, but why is he even kneeling down? Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments because me I don't talk my own. I don't talk my own. Your own and my own must not be the same. But let me know what your thoughts. And then for Messi, yeah, the fact that she has scammed us about having a boyfriend when in real sense she does not have a boyfriend. She has been able to, you know, do well with that because I actually believed her. Even though she was just like, ah, my relationship go don't spoil. Oh, my relationship don't spoil. Ah, I did outside, but my relationship. So you don't get any relationship with this boy. Hey, God. And I don't try you. And I don't try at all, at all, at all. Anyways, today is the finale. We have come to the complete 10 weeks of the Big Brother Ninja All Star Season 8. Yo! What a ride it has been. We know, we already know that uh, we have speculations of who is winning and who is not. But you guys, let's just say it one more time. These three hours will remain. Moko speak them into existence. Who do you want to win? Tell me in the comment section below, okay? If you have come this far, you're the real MVP. Now, most valuable player, now you be. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye-bye. I'm going to see you in the next one.